Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. This is your math teacher, Mr. Marcus, coming to you from my wonderful, comfortable chair. Um, hope you are all doing well. Let's do a problem together that involves portions um, and using a percent ruler. So this problem um, says an article in the local paper states that 30% of the students at Oak Grove Middle School earned a place on the silver honor roll. All right, way to go, students. Um, if there are 920 students at Oak Grove, how many are on the silver honor roll? Use a percent rule to help you decide. Okay, so we have 920 students total, and out of that total, 30% of them. So that's 30%. So if there were 100 students, 30 of them would have made the honor roll. But we have a lot more than that. So let's find out. Let's start by doing a percent ruler and see if we can figure out how many students actually made the honor roll. So I'm going to start by using my ruled paper, my, my graph paper that I have here. I'm doing a nice straight line I'm along the horizontal line there. And I know at this end, this would represent 0% of the students making the honor roll. Um, and out of the 920 students, 0% of that is 0 students, none of them, wah wah. I'm on the other end of the spectrum here, on the other end of the, the ruler, 100% of the students, if 100% made the honor roll, which would be awesome, that would be all 920. So our task is to find out where is 30%, where is that 30% here. All right, well, um, it'd be nice, it's probably somewhere around here, but um, let's think, how can I get to 30%? I'm trying to break up this um, ruler into equal parts, um, and I need to get 30 somehow. And I, and I know that 30 doesn't divide evenly into 100%, that 100% divided by, you know, 30%, yeah, we're not going to get, you know, it's, it's three in a little bit. Um, so that's not going to work. So let's think, how can else can we get to 30%? Well, if I take 100% and divide it into 10 parts, um, then I can get 10% increments. So let's start by doing that. So I want 10 equal parts. I'm going to use these. I'm going to use these. I'm going to skip a line to give myself some room. Um, so that's 10%. That would be 20. Hey, here's our 30 that we're looking for. Um, 40, 50%, 60%, 70, 80 90, this isn't okay, we need to actually extend this out because these wouldn't be equally sized pieces. So let me move the 100% over one here. So we're gonna move this over, this will be 100, and make that a little longer. So this is now our 100%. Now we have equally spaced intervals that are all 10%. So 10, 20%, and then this is our magic one that we're looking for of 30. Now, if we divided our number line into 10 equal parts, well, I could find out what this is. I could find out how many students 10% would be by doing the same thing. Take, take, all, take this as our one whole. Like if this is a, a bar, an area model, a, a, you know, a bar model for, for area and fractions, well, this would be just one-tenth. This would be just one tenth, one out of ten. So if I take 920 students and divide that by 10, I'll find out what is here. How many students are there? And that ends up being 92 students. So there's 92 students right here. Right here. 92 students would make up 10%. 92 students makes up 10%. Well, then how can I get to how many 20% is? If you said add another 92 students, you are correct. You are correct. So 92 students is 10%. So if I add another 92 students, I get 184 students. So 184. Now if I want to get a third one, I can add another 92 students and add another 10%. And that's gonna get me, what is that, 176. That sounds good to me. So add another 92, and we get to our 30%, which is 176. And that is, if I get my, 
that would be that 10 plus another 10% plus another 10%, that's 30%. So by adding 10% intervals, we got to 30%. So we divided our number line into 10 pieces. And then we said, well, if the number line, if our percents are divided into tenths, let's take our, let's take our students and divide them into 10 equal parts. And that would be 92 students per 10%. So um, let's just wrap it up. So 30% of the students makes, means that there are 176 students on the silver honor roll at Oak Grove. Thank you so much, everybody, for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I will catch you later.